Lisa? I'd like to ask uh, HL to respond in the same way about religion and the possibility of secularization in Sri Lanka, if, that, if you see things the same way that Peter does. Well, the uh, problem is, um, actually, there are many, many parallels. I mean, uh, Peter just mentioned, uh, for example, uh, the prob their dislike of foreigners and foreign things and foreign cultural items. And uh, and any uh, for the f for example me working in a foreign university can can uh, I'm considered somehow international and I by the way I I have enough material for uh, my next book literally on my on my lap because I, I get so much uh, hate mail from uh, uh, Sinhala Buddhist right wing uh, as a new phenomenon by the way the with the rise of the internet there are expatriate internet groups of uh, propagandists, these are nationalist uh, right wing. I mean, it's very interesting how uh, uh, modern technology can be also used uh, very effectively uh, to, uh, to revalidate, confirm, and strengthen uh, right wing extremist beliefs or left wing, whatever wing extremist beliefs, and mo they are mostly right wing. Uh, so you have, uh, um, you have uh, these co communities, and uh, so foreign, any foreign thing is uh, is um, qu quite unacceptable to the nationalist religion, nationalist, as you put it, ideology. Uh, as to uh, secularization, I see no um, immediate uh, future for it. Of course, as I as we were discuss discussing in the morning, there are civil society groups, and there are uh, intellectuals even among uh, the different clergies like the Buddhist clergy and the Christian clergy and um, among you know, there is a, uh, also an Islamic and Hindu. There, there are some people and um, the, but these, are, these people are, in fact I have personally been trying to at a personal level, I cannot do any propagandizing and I don't even believe that it's going to be successful but at a personal level of networking uh, I was wondering whether these people could get together and try to exert some influence on the government because that is another very important thing to uh, in the in solving the Sri Lankan problem I think it's very important that uh, uh, the government uh, um, accept the idea of a political solution uh, rather than uh, a war which they are now waging and they they claim they are they are succeeding they are winning but of course uh, this uh, war if supposing what does winning mean I mean it doesn't it doesn't s still solve the problem they still have to sit down and talk and still have to come up with uh, uh, convincing uh, proposals for devolution and so I think um, if sec secular groups it um, now there is another fundamental question uh, which again to some extent uh, I heard resonances in your presentation is that there is a general breakdown of the social order. In, in I remember the time in a personal experience, the time I was growing up, um, there, there was, uh, supposing, uh, um, you know, I grew up in the countryside, then even which was quite far removed from, you know, city life and various, um, uh, you know, kinds of things, paraphernalia associated with it, including uh, bureaucratic administrative mechanisms. But even even under those circumstances, if there was some problem in the in the village, so if there's some fight, some 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 fighting, in within hours there'll be some police would appear and somebody would be arrested and uh, produced before a judge. There's a predictable procedure and you know and then uh, and and after that judicial proceedings and they there is either conviction or the person is set free whatever there is a predictable uh, procedure but uh, today the you and i could be chatting in our you know veranda so our house and somebody could shoot you and there will not be any arrest and then nobody will know that is it's that dangerous there are abductions uh, daily uh, killings uh, disappearances daily and there is this feared phenomenon called the white van people say they saw somebody is missing suddenly they have seen a white van appear and then so there's of course the suggestion is that it is the government that's doing it and uh, it may be not direct of course it is it's actually the government may be working with the with the underground you know um, it is so anyway it is uh, uh, the what i'm trying to get at is uh, the whole different number of questions one is the general decline of uh, the what might be 
consider the underlying uh, you know anchor moral anchor of the society no society uh, lives uh, healthily without that anchor and you have to have ultimately you can have lots of different political and other opinions but underneath we agree on certain things for example that human life is valuable that's a fundamental thing you agree about all of us are supposed to agree but if some people don't agree then there is a real serious problem i think that is the case in sri lanka so i think all these other problems are really expressions of this fundamental malaise that uh, so when we, if we are going to truly address buddhist violence we actually have to address the underlying questions and you know and and some of that may be actually finding ways of you know promoting secularism